Hey, uh, this is just a very off the cuff, spur of the moment thing. Um, I'm still working on the uh, VHS update. Um, got some things to talk about. Ignore this, but uh, I'll explain in a couple of days. Um, I, I, uh, today is the 20th anniversary of Shrek 2 coming out in theatres. And I was having a look at an old um, promo for the movie uh, when it came out on DVD in 2004. And that got me to thinking, um, when I was a kid, um, and th also this is something I don't think I shared in video memories, and honestly I could have. It would have been an interesting uh, topic to talk about. Uh, when I was a kid, um, I couldn't afford to just shell out and get as many um, VHS tapes, you know, as I wanted. If I did, I would have had more than, like, th 35, 40 of them. So I would have to reuse um, tapes whenever I saw something was on and just never think about the long-term consequences of it. And, I mean, think back then, the 1990s and the 2000s, even before that, if you were there in the 80s, there was no... There was never any thought about saving uh, old vintage TV recordings for, like, a, like an audience. Um, you're only saving them for yourself at that point. Now, I'm not talking about label tapes. Like, if you, if you label something uh, and you're in need of a VHS tape and you know it's something you'll want to keep, um, then obviously you'll put that aside and just never touch it. Like Pinocchio, um, there was no way in hell I was going to reuse that and... And Tom Jerry the movie, I was never going to reuse that. I made room for Tweety Sci-Fi and Adventure, but that was it. But I'm talking about VHS tapes that are completely unlabeled, uh, blank, if you will. Uh, I mean, if you think back to when Recordable Freddy started, um, it all started with a shoebox of completely blank tapes. Well, mostly blank. Um, Tom Jerry was labeled... Pinocchio was labeled. I think this cartoon cartoons tape, it had CC on the front. So I knew what that was. But the rest of it, unlabeled. And it's weird to th just stop and think with how much uh, material got recycled uh, it, it, uh, when you needed to reuse a VHS tape. It's, just, it's, a, it's, it's fascinating to stop and think what made it through the, an the analog purge, if you will, to live in this day and age. I mean, like I said, Pinocchio from Christmas 1999, um, there, there was no way I was going to get rid of that, but I mean, think about the Nick Jr. party. Think, how many people actually knew about that before I posted that? And that was six years, that was seven years ago. Um, yeah, it's just something, something to think about. Um, I mean, how many of these things would you remember, like... I mean, even something as simple as uh, Disney from 2003. Um, it, it was just an early morning uh, collection of cartoons I used to watch. I mean, think about Zoom. Uh, people used to watch the, uh, that Disney brand all the time, and I'm pretty sure it was on the radio as well. You would never remember it if you didn't have the, the recordings of it. I mean, the cartoon cartoon tapes, um, you know, I remember them even if they weren't labeled and even before I had the VHS collection. But what about something like the DeLorean car crash uh, documentary? I recorded this because I was a Back to the Future fan. I don't know why I kept it. I mean, look at all the stuff underneath it. Yeah, just imagine if I if I overwrote the the, the DeLorean documentary. Until it showed up on YouTube, I would never think about it. I'd, I, I, would, I would think I just imagined it. It's not a very interesting documentary if all you want is Back to the Future. So, hey. So, yeah, this is just something I wanted to talk about. And very spur of the moment, but sometimes these things just come to you. Okay, bye.